are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother? Sister? We look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> This is wrong. This is all wrong. Wait, stop. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler, sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. 
They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look. I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I wanted to talk to you about that, but it never seemed like the right time. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone, and, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells, Allison, the smells, men smell bad. <laughs> I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Mom and Allison have wieder gestritten. Wenigstens schreit Mom jetzt nicht nur mich an. Es kam mir so vor, als wäre Mom fast eifersüchtig, weil wir ihr nicht gesagt haben, dass wir im Wald vorhaben. Ellie meint, wir sollen ihr von unserer Stimme erzählen. Aber ich glaube, sie weiß schon davon. Mom hat ziemlich sauer reagiert, als ich sie gefragt habe, ob ich ins Eishockeyteam darf. Als wäre es falsch, weil es ein Jungensport ist. Ich werde aber wieder fragen. Ich probiere es nächste Woche nochmal. Sie hat wieder Nein gesagt. Ich bin so wütend. Warum sagt sie immer Nein? Warum darf ich nie machen, was ich will? Allison und ich haben angefangen, eine Geschichte zu schreiben. Naja, eigentlich Allison. 
Sie wollte nicht, dass sich irgendetwas ändere. Warum kann nicht einer von den Kobolden ein Junge sein? Gestern bei Bobby Star Wars angeschaut. Luke ist so cool. Aber Mama hat es rausgefunden und war sehr sauer. Sie sagt, es verherrlicht den Krieg. Zium, zium. Samstag, 5. Februar 2005. Vielleicht wäre Mom glücklicher, wenn ich einfach mache, was sie will. Wenn sie mich anschaut, sieht sie mich gar nicht. Ich wünschte, ich könnte es ihr zeigen. Ich wünschte, sie würde es verstehen. Aber ich glaube, sie will das gar nicht. Allison hat wieder gesagt, dass ich schuld bin, dass Mom wütend auf uns war. Diese Schleimerin. Mom hat seit ein paar Tagen fast nicht mit uns geredet. Ellie hat gesehen, dass sie Seiten aus dem Buch der Kobolde weggeworfen hat. 1.3.2005 Tu dies, tu das. Ich kann ihre Stimme nicht mehr hören. Und diesen blöden Namen auch nicht. Ich bin Olli, der Kobold. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Das wäre schön. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. We were in our own world most of the time. The lake wasn't just a lake. It was Moonhag's lair. And the mountain was an ice troll. True. Plus, you get used to anything if you see it every day. Not always. Uh, all right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three, two... Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. <laughs> you know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well... I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh, I've never seen it, dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just... Moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, 
You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Everything okay with you? <laughs> yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Yeah. Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... No, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. All you think we'll get out of him? Nein. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. Uh, and you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. 
Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. <laughs>